Hi guys, welcome to another Elementor video. In yesterday's video, we showed you how to make this page really quickly using the Elementor block system. Really useful thing to know. Of course, we had the question of, I want to create a menu that actually scrolls to these sections here. Really easy to do. We touched on it with our buttons here. We showed you how to do that. But if you want to create a menu to scroll to each of these sections, it's really easy. We'll also show you how you can create a link that will scroll to a certain section on a different page if you need to do that also. So let's get started. I'm going to edit with Elementor. I've actually got the page open here. And I'm going to start at the top. And we'll start giving these sections what they call CSS IDs. So starting at the top, go into the section, little pink tab there. Just going to click on the little dots. Takes us to that section. If we look over here in advanced, you'll find CSS IDs and classes. Now the advanced may be closed up when you go over there. If so, just hit the little chevron to open it. Now we're going to be using CSS IDs for this today. Make sure you put it in ID and not classes. At the top, I'm going to give mine CSS ID of home. Now you can call it anything you want, wants to make sense to you. It needs to be unique. You want to make sure there's nothing else on this page that has that CSS ID. Great. Let's roll down to the next section that we want to link to. Perhaps we'll link to this one. And it's a sort of like an about section. So we'll do the same thing over to advanced about. And again, call yours what you want. Don't think I'll link to that section. We'll link to the services, perhaps. I'm going to click on that section once more. Advanced CSS IDs services. Rolling on down, we've got a little, I guess you'd call this a portfolio section. Going to click on it over to advanced. I'm just going to call this one port, P-O-R-T. And last but not least, we got a little contact section here. I think I gave this an ID when we scrolled to it with the button yesterday. So over in advance, there it is, it's contact. That's absolutely fine. Okay, to make this actually work, we need to create a menu for it now that we've created these. Make sure we've either published the changes or saved the draft. And we'll go to our dashboard now to create the menu. And this is common to all WordPress themes. And this method will work also with Bootstrap and any HTML site. This is how you link to sections with anchor tags. I'm going to go down to Appearance once in the dashboard. I'm going to go down to Menus. And we'll create a new menu. I'll call mine One Page. Because we've got a little one page scrolling site for this. I'm going to hit the Create Menu button. Now normally you'd add your pages with the pages right here. I'm going to close up the pages. We're going to use custom links to do this today. So I'm going to open it up. Put the URL. Now the URL is actually the CSS ID that we use there. And all CSS IDs have to have a hashtag in front of them. So we put a hashtag. And then the CSS ID. Our first one was Home, I believe. And whatever you want to say with this, you can say Top or Home, I guess, would work with this. When you're happy, add it to the menu. Our next one was about. So again, it's hashtag about. And I guess we'll call this about us. And we'll add it to the menu there. Our next one, I think, was the services. And we gave that the, hash, the ID of services. So it's hashtag services. And if you don't get these right, they're not going to work. I'm pretty sure that's what we gave it. Like I say, you can make that anything you want. I tend to make it the same as the link text. Just to save on confusion for my old brain. And after that, we had portfolio, which I shortened to just port. Hashtag P-O-R-T. And then finally, we just had the contact form, which had an ID of contact, so hashtag contact. And let's say reach out. Whatever you want to call yours. We'll add that one to the menu. Fantastic. Now we can assign it down here. I'm going to assign it to the header. I'm using the hello theme for this. This is another in our series of Elementor for Beginners videos. 
Throughout this series, we're using the free Halo theme from Elementor. And I would recommend you use that because it's optimized for it. But this will be common to most WordPress themes. Let's select the header. We'll save our menu. It's telling us it's been updated here. Let's go to our page here. We'll have to refresh. I'm going to hit the refresh button. And that will change slightly. That's portfolio. And that's going to become reach out, I believe. OK, let's hit our no point linking to the top one. That's our home section about us and nothing's happening. Probably as I was talking, I probably put that in the class rather than the ID. And this is what I was saying earlier about make sure you put this in the ID. Let's get down to our about section here. Yeah, I put it in the classes. Then I'm going to control X to cut it from there and put it in the IDs and we'll resave this. We'll refresh this page now. Now, when I hit the about, great. It's going to scroll down to the about. Perfect. Services. Fantastic. Portfolio. Bing. And last but not least, we've got our little reach out contact form. Perfect. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to have a little back to the top button. And you can do that with an anchor tag too. If we go back over here, Let's go down, we'll add a new little section. One right here. I'm going to go over to my widgets. I'm going to use an icon for this. I'm going to click on the icon. Let's use an up arrow. Let's find an arrow. That will do nicely. There it is, you can change the color if you want to. I'm going to leave it just like it is. For the link, I'm going to use our home, which is at the top of the page there. So that'd be hashtag home. But I don't want this in the middle of the page. I want it sort of down here at all times. So I'm going to go over to advanced and position. I want to use fixed position. And it pops it right in the middle at the top right there. That's not what I want. It's telling us positioning is not considered best practice for, for responsive web design. It's true if I had a lot of content in there, but for little icons and buttons and things like that, it's absolutely fine. I want to align mine on the right of our row right there. So I'm going to go to style. There's alignment right there. I'm going to put it on the right hand side. It's over here. If we go back to our advanced and our positioning there, I'm going to put it down at the bottom of the page. And there it is right there. I want it slightly up and out from the bottom. So we've got an offset here, horizontal. So I take it left or right with the horizontal. Up and down with the vertical. I want to take it up there, about there. We want to make sure that it's on top of everything else. Now, at the moment, it's not falling behind anything. That's fine. If you find that it's falling behind something, you can give it a high Z index here until it pops out on top. Z index. Anything with a high number Z index will appear on top of anything with a lower number Z index. Great. Well, we should be good to go there. Let's save this. Save draft, publish if you're ready. Now, if we go back to our page now, there's our little back to the top button. If we go down to our reach out or contact form at the bottom, and we click on this one, it'll take us back to the top of the page there. Perfect. Just what we want. Now, you can link to these from other pages if you need to. So let's go back into our menu. What we need to do for this is I'll publish this page because it won't work on a draft page. So instead of save draft, I'm going to go ahead and publish. Now, if we look up here, we've got a proper URL for this page. So I can copy that. And if we go back to our menu now, I can go to the portfolio link. Just hit the little chevron to customize it. For the URL, I can put that full URL in there. I want to put a forward slash at the end. And then it's got the CSS ID there. Let's save this menu. I've got another page open here. Let's just update, make sure we've got the right menu here. There we go. There's a regular one. So if I hit portfolio now, it's going to take us to the correct page and straight to that portfolio like that. 
Now, if you wanted to, you could just put a hashtag. If you put a hashtag in there rather than back to top, it would go all the way to the top here, but it probably wouldn't scroll. We can just try that. I go back into this, click on my little back to the top button there. Fill in the content for the link. I just leave a hashtag in there now. Instead of home, we'll update that. Go back to the page and our portfolio will work on this page as well because it's got that full URL in there. Now when I click the top here, it's just going to take us straight to the top of the page without scrolling. So there's two little options for you. So there you go, guys. There's how to add anchor tag to scroll to various sections of your site. Also, how to add a little back to the top button. And also, how to link from a different page. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.